Welcome to John's Milk Dicting Adventures. Here we are searching for history again on a new permission. We're in North Yorkshire and trying to find some history going back in time. We know the road, there's a Roman fort down here, medieval period around this area, so we might be in luck. Twenty-four down there. There we go. George III, half penny. Down there. Yeah. Look at that. Squashed. Right, I think. Yeah. Oops. Look at that. Squashed lighter. <laughs> I think this is Roman. I really do. Yeah, key fob look. <laughs> look at that. I don't know what it says there. Key fob there, that's the metal thing disc. It made the noise. Different. Got 20 down here. Oh. What is this? Oh, interesting. Ah. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, it's a brooch. Brooch. Not really sure how old that is. It's a nice brooch, but it's just uh Wow, that's interesting. Ah. Yeah, 15 florin of Elizabeth the second. Huh, next door to that it's uh <laughs> another florin of George VI. George VI Florin. To clean it and show you the date on that. Florin next door there. 16 half penny of Elizabeth the second. 20. Oh, it's a pendant. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Oh, what do you know about that? Swastika pendant. Wow. Well, oh, I wouldn't have thought that. That's another florin. 
Oh, George the Sixth. Another full on George the Sixth. Another coin. Oh, blimey. I think we've got quite a few coins. Yep, more coins down here. More coins. Down there. There there is another penny. Edward the Seventh, Penny! Seven coins out of one hole. Look at that, pity no silver. Uh, here we go. Look at that lot. Got a mixture of all sorts of coins here. We've got florins, 1950s, 1960s florins. Uh, and I think that's Roman, I really do. It's just got that thinness to it about being Roman there. A Roman grot, we call them, because it's not very clear, but I think that's Roman. Then we've got all the, you know, George V, uh, Edward VII penny, and um, George VI, half penny, and then we've got George, George III, half penny, and, and then another florin of George VI, and then we've got a uh, another George VI, half penny, uh, and then we've got... Um, all these buttons, variations of uh, 18th century buttons here, apart from that one. And then that's a strange one, look at that. <laughs> but that's a, a, a key fob, and uh, it's, that's the fob that's actually given us the... Uh, the um, I'll put it down, I wonder if you can get it, then see it'll, see it'll come to focus. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, I've no idea. Uh, without looking and uh, getting me a spyglass, can't, can't really read that writing. And then of course, look at the size of that uh, handle for a pewter spoon. And then we've got a, uh, some sort of lighter. 1950s lighter, or, 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 or not like quite sure, a bit thin for a lighter. But yeah, I think it's a lighter, that. Lighter, probably uh, Second World War or something like that. And then this, hey, I am not sure. This could be old. This could be old. It's a brooch. I think this is medieval. This is, this is my thoughts. It's a medieval brooch. That's what I think. But I'll have to look it up. Medieval brooch, I think we've got here. Yep, so that's age to that. So I'll check that out later. But um, this is an interesting find here. Look at that. <laughs> look at that one. Uh, I don't know if it's a Nazi one or what. Because I can't really see the details on that. But I think you maybe you can. But it's a, I think it's a Nazi pendant. Um, I think that's what that is. Uh, or it could be older, I'm not really sure, because they did use this this pendant for, uh, well, this uh, design for different religions uh, going back in time. And it's a Nazi who, who, who decided to, I mean, the Romans used this, but I'm not saying it's a Roman Roman pendant, but Romans used that. They, nicked, they pinched that, that design from the Romans. Anyway, but I think that's, could be you know 1940s pendant Nazi I think I'll check it out though and uh, and you know but yeah that's that's what I think that is so that's me count up I've had a real really good coin shoot there look at that uh, 12 coins I've had out there in four hours which ain't too bad really for a field out of the way with no footpath but yeah I, my journey has been great absolutely superb I like a bit of a coin shoot pity I didn't find any silver uh, but obviously I've got a mixture of artifacts there and some I've got to look into and just see what they are. Well, thanks for joining me. I um, hope that was interesting to you and we will catch you on the next adventure. And I can't wait. <laughs> Bye for now.